Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Xbox Live Arcade version, episode 16. Woohoo! This episode we will hopefully have finished up. Click Clock Woods, um, one thing to note, um, it has been a little time since passed since the last episode. One thing to note is that I've gotten a few more notes than the last time as I've had to do some backtracking and had to redo Eerie, so I had to keep getting the worms for him, so. Oh well, uh, so right now we're at 79 out of 100 notes. Uh, my plan is at the current moment is to go back and get the 90 uh, for the acorns, and then we'll continue from there. So actually, first we're going to scale the tree just to make sure there's nothing up here. As I don't, like I said, I don't fully remember Click Clock perfectly. It's not like, I may like the level, I like the concept, I don't have it memorized. So, um, ooh. All right, we're. I'm actually out of invincibility right now, so I I, I kind of can't uh, get the mumbo token, but we will go here. I'm sure, there's nothing in here. All the wild growth going on in here. Seems like nothing still. So, I I, I kind of suspected there'd be nothing. Okay. Eh. Yeah, eggs don't do anything to this thing, right? Okay. So, I'm going to kind of just take that as a loss, and we'll move on. Like I said, I'm not going for every single Mumbo token. But, if we're three shy by the end, oh well, it happens. Um, Alright, so first things first, we have to come back to... Um, oh, what's his name? The squirrel here. So, he's looking for his acorns as of last time. First, I'm going to go into his house, make sure that he's not missing one in here. Sounds like there's something else. Oh, another worm, which is useful, like I said. I'm gonna need a few, hopefully I don't need it off screen too much when we get to winter, because I have, uh, I did not get to keep all the worms I had from the last one, but pretty close. I have like three, it was three to one, so I'm missing two. All right, take your acorn, that's one acorn. All right, so to get other acorns, you need to come up here and First we get the one across, and then we're going to want to flutter uh, to get the one in the middle. Sadly, it's a little dangerous. If you if you get the one in the middle, like you stay where you are supposed to be in the middle, you'll be good. See, so you'll land right here to get this one, which is number three. Okay. Throw to him, so he's out of the way and doesn't screw us over. So, that gives us four. Oh, I'm gonna have to talent trot. I didn't think I was gonna have to. Talent trot. All right, so let's go up this way is where you can find the other one I think I'm missing. Um, also might be a hidden honeycomb piece might be in here too, if I remember correctly. At the bottom here. No, that'll be later, I think. I think you have to come into this later in winter to get the last empty honeycomb piece. Then we'll have, I think we have two more Jiggy, three more Jiggies to get, because we'll get the Jiggy from this, Jiggy on top of the flower, Jiggy for uh, the beaver that we have to get, and actually Autumn is pretty much sealed up from that point, from what I can think of in my head. And there are three. Hmm, Nubbit hasn't gotten enough acorns yet. Keep looking. Oh, where's the other one? What the heck? I thought I've gotten them all now. I don't know where the last acorn is. Oh well, I guess we'll ignore it for now. I am, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm completely unsure where the, the last one is. Instead, what we'll do, is go this way and we're gonna get the jig on top of the flower, then we'll go to the beaver. Maybe it's in there, cause it's the only place I haven't looked, is the beaver. But yeah, to get this, funny enough, it's right here by the bee, so you just kind of fall down here, and you can get your jiggy. That's jiggy number five! And we'll get jiggy number six here in a second. Alright, so jiggy number six is the beaver that we helped out in summer here. Oh, just stay away from me. Wait, I helped you, uh... It didn't carry through. Alright guys, I'll be right back as I go to summer and open that up. Be right back. 
Alright, I'm back, and I also found out where the other second, the sixth acorn is. I'm just a dummy that missed a platform up there. So that means I'm gonna have to scale the flipping place again to get it, instead of being able to leave and go straight to winter. So I'll probably cut to that as well. Alright, so here it is, Nabbit. There you are, last. Been waiting for months to give this since, uh, we helped him out in summer, as you saw last episode. And it just didn't carry. This actually music carries over. If I remember, this music carries over to two, two so as well. So, so there's also, uh, if I remember correctly, an any empty honeycomb piece in here. For, but it's probably in winter, if I remember correct. Both are in winter, if I remember correctly. All right here. Let's see here. So let's swim back down. I'm gonna cut now back up to where the acorn is, so we can get that jiggy, and then we'll leave for winter. So I'll be right back. All right, back up here. So where it is is if you go over here, I missed this ledge off the here mainly because of camera angles. But you need a talent trot to be able to get this thing. Well, as you slide all the way down, there it is, number six. I can't believe I forgot that one. Oh well, not too difficult. All right, here you go. Get your nut. Take your nut. Yippee! That's all the acorns I need. Here is. Take this. I'll see you in spring. All right, jiggy number seven it means there's two in winter yet to get, which I know where one is. I'm unsure. Sh I'm unsure where the other is. I'm trying to think. So there's one for Eerie, but I think there's one for again killing the snowman that we all know and love from uh, from previous ones. So off to winter we go. That's good there now. I killed you. Give me a health. Goof all game. I say I killed you. All right, here we go. Winter time. How did I not? Oh, I still. I just need the life. Please give it to me. Thank you. There you go. Best way to get rid of those guys. There we go, let's go. Alright, so now this place, all the plants are dead, thankfully. I know it sounds cruel of me to say, but thankfully, but now we have snowmen to deal with. So it's, it's kind of the ultimate challenge in one kind of thing here. So first we're going to go like we always do, there's no, also no birdies on the edges. We're going to go across the edge here and try and take care of everything that way. Now, one of the hardest challenges... Jesus, and I already know where all... I know I, I would have gotten all... There's one I missed in fall. There's two I missed in fall and two in Rusty Buck Bay. Wow. Oh, there's more than that. Oh, maybe there's more freaking Mumbo tokens than I think there are. So never mind. All right. So <laughs> now we have to go through this hole and as fast as possible swim to the beaver. If I die, then we kind of have to start over. So let's, let's hope I can get there fast enough. So you gotta kind of be quick and decisive. This is something I would recommend saving till you got all the notes in the uh, N64 version, because this is otherwise ridiculously hard to get. I also don't recommend going for that extra life because it literally is a death trap. All right, once you get out, you're good. Ah, oh, core. I don't usually get visitors in winter. Oh, yeah, there's that, and then the other one's pretty easy to find as well. All right, now I gotta be quick. So now this could be the hard part, is actually getting more out than in. Cause it's easy to find, but you just wanna go left here. Hopefully the camera works with you, not against with you. And you wanna find the hole that you came in on. It's the only in and out of this whole ice place. And there you go. Now, like I said, not too difficult if you know what you're doing, but can be very difficult elsewise. Nice thing uh, about winter is there's not too many hazards outside of the snowman, which we're going to take care of now. Now, nice thing about having lots of feathers. Get rid of him. All right. Now, I've gotten much better, thankfully, to one, some tips from you guys, and then two, from practice, <laughs> I'm taking care of a few of these guys. So now this is when Beat Bomb actually becomes somewhat useful. Um for actually getting around a level. Alright, I'll take care of him. 
I said, I'm just going to go around and get rid of these guys really fast because they can just be an utter pain, really. All right, there's another mumble token. Oh, it killed off my plate. Good thing they were right here, and I think there's only one more guy we have to get rid of. And I know exactly where he is. Sheesh, we have a lot of mumble tokens. All right, and that one, the other one that I know of. Oh, there's more up here. I didn't know there was that many up here, too. Oh, dang it. Oh, I missed him. Really? All right. Well, you don't have to get rid of all of them. There's this one you want to get rid of. Because there's a granny switch here, and we're going to get that really quick. Okay. And then we're going to need the flight for the other Jiggy, if I remember correctly. All right. Let's see, flip up here. I have to just remember where the other Jiggy is. I know where the rest of the notes are. Are pretty much in this area because there's not too many notes but flying is kind of the big key for this area and then there's one that you need like you need to fly for this the other see there's eerie so I think we just talked to eerie or we have to for this so we're pretty much good there there it is here's this jiggy now, I don't know if this is the same Jiggy in spring, so I could be missing one. Hopefully not. We'll see. Because there's number eight. All right. Now, I don't know what's the easiest way to get down from here. Another thing you have to get is this. There's uh, that one you have to get, too, which requires... Another flight pad. Actually, I think is up here, thankfully. Oh, Lord. What I hate about this is with him trying to hit you with ice balls or snowballs, whatever you want to call them. It can be kind of difficult. So here, you're going to want to go for this. There you go. Get that. Okay, here you can then just... Kind of flap your way into it, and you'll get your final and very last one of the game. Empty honeycomb piece. Which will bring your life up to nine. So luckily, there's actually one more health upgrade in this game. And it requires pretty much getting everything in the game. Um, which is a cool little bonus. I like the, the completion bonus of Banjo-Kazooie. The ability that it gives you power-ups and all that kind of stuff for the final bits of the game. So, let's go visit... Let's go visit this guy real quick. And now coming in here, there is a stop and swap again. Apparently he's got a girlfriend. I don't know if I can... Yeah, okay, so there's nothing in here. So I'm actually going to kill off this guy here. Make it easier to get the notes down there. Like I said, we're pretty much done. Because now I just got to go see Eerie. He'll give me one. And then I just got to get all the notes. Which is just kind of scaling the tree back and forth. So, it's that eerie, pretty easy, just. But I want to get rid of all the snowmen because I feel like they're causing me, gonna cause me issues. How did that. Get out of here! <laughs> Alright, one more of these guys to take care of. This guy down here. Get rid of Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Is that it? We done? We're done with these guys? Alright, let's go down here now. We'll go visit Mumbo, and then we'll scale the tree, and that should... Then we're going to have to go back to spring and get the bee, but I'll probably save that for next episode as we prep to do the final bit of the game. Oh my god. Alright, then here. Why, why does that keep falling? Oh, that's right, he's on vacation. I'm also missing. No, I'm missing. I know which Jiggy I'm missing. I'm missing the Jinjo one. I might have to pause and figure out which ones I'm missing. So, which one am I missing? I'm missing the purple and the blue. 
Alright, I'll cut here real quick. Okay, we're back, and actually it's fairly easy, and I actually know exactly where all the gingers are, because it wasn't that hard. Once I figured out... Alright, how do I get this? Come on. I need to get up there. Maybe maybe the flying will make it easier. Maybe I'm just being a dunce and flying which is the solution here. It's kind of nice. This is a it, this is definitely a level of use all your abilities that you've learned. Right, let's get this ginger. And the last one when we go to be B is where you get the pink one. Just like I thought, there was an extra one in there's something in that beehive. So and that will ultimately be our jiggy, our last jiggy, as we now need to go visit Erie. Come on, why can't I? Hate it when you're sliding that you can't switch into this. All right, let's now slowly begin climbing the tree, collecting the remaining notes that are in the game. Um, and that'll bring us up to our final note count, and that'll bring us to the end of this episode. All right, got to be careful here. One problem with the winner is ice, and ice is not fun. All right, it's nice always to have feathers. I hear you, Eerie. We'll could be up there shortly. I like walk. I like using Kazooie in winter areas for pretty much sliding reasons. It's basically for physics more than anything. All right, so anything other than a mumbo token. All right, don't need a mumbo token. So let's go. So I think there's 30 extra mumbo tokens in the game. I think that's why I, I miscounted. this way just kind of nice they do give you quite a bit in this final level to try and get everything sad that he's on the outside there okay here you're gonna want to jump up here and quickly turn into talent trot so you can get these four notes all right there we go 92 all right, we'll stop this because I always fall when I use this on this thin platform. Because I can't use the proper jumping. Okay, there's a few notes there. All right, game. Come on, work with me. All right, here's four here. Hopefully we can find... I know there's a few notes on the way up to the final top of the tree. And then we'll go switch to B in the next episode and get the last Jiggy in the next episode. So... I'll actually finish it off here in a second. And that'll be it for winner. And then we can finish. We can start next episode by turning into a bee, getting the last jiggy, and moving and getting the jiggy on the outside, which will inevitably be the last jiggy of the game. So here we go. Let's go to Erie, get our last our last difficult jiggy. Erie might eagle at last. Watch me as I fly into the sky. And he craps out a jiggy for... Yep, there you go. Roared for bear friend, here it comes. Oh, I swear I wanted. Took this game and puking up jiggies and pooping them out. Oh. There you go, jiggy number nine. And number, I think that's number 98 of total. All right, so let's get these last four notes here. And that'll be it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this part of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Next time on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, we're going to kind of go take on the witch because that's all we have left to do, really. Besides, uh, uh, so get the get the last two jiggies that I stated. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.